Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We have got a cold open for you. It is the Embers of Mirim demo. I have no idea what this game is about, Brian. Well, I'm just looking at the screenshot. I can see a sort of sci-fi-esque kind of building. And that's nothing to do with it. That's actually just the theme that I'm using. I'm using oh, well, that was completely misguided. Then, Literally, so it has know. absolutely nothing there that she's going to give us any explanation. Because I've never associated the word Ember with sci-fi, so... <laughs> uh, I, I get that. that that's a joke that only people who are from Ireland get, man. That's, I think nobody watched Ember. <laughs> so, yeah. Ember's a Murum. Um, no idea what this game is. It's a demo that's actually available on the PlayStation Network, both in the EU. Um, I think I pulled it from the Hong Kong store originally, but it's actually now available in the EU store as well uh, from Creative Byte Studios. Well, let's take a look to see what it is. Um, I've got. No, I've, essentially, I literally. I'm trying to think. I'm burning, I'm burning through like PR letters I've received in the emails I... for the last few months, and I still can't think of what it actually is. Well, I'm just assuming your standard mythical magic kind of storyline. Yeah, I think so. Every, everything we've seen in a hundred other games. Mm -hmm. You know, the as, side... as you can guess, I'm never really keen on all those magic. Do you know why I said that I actually thought that wasn't actually connected? That was an actual background. It's a, the weird irony is the background of this looks like the theme that I was using for the rest of my display, so it actually continued on. That was kind of impressive. Did you actually get a theme with this movie? I didn't get a theme with this. I don't think I got a theme with this. No, I, there's no. I didn't get a theme with this. Did I? Maybe? Possibly? Maybe not. I don't think so. Possibly not. <laughs> so, Embers of Miriam, well, let's take a look at what this magical world has to offer us. So, I'm um, just going to take a quick look in the options because... Oh, oh okay. okay. There is not that many options. Get. That's as simple as you can get. So, like, if there's going to be like a whole bunch of options for brightness yeah, and stuff... Me too. <laughs> uh, I think that was actually more of a Porygon because it only has a split deal. Oh, uh, is this going to be a dragon game? Do I get to play a dragon? I, I love to play dragons. Yes, I get to play a dragon! <laughs> oh, side scroller. That's not, that's not too bad then. Fucking beautiful side scroller and fast moving. Eee, I'm gliding! There you go. And we made it. And hop! Glide! Looks impressive. As a platformer? As a, as a 2D kind of scrolling platformer? Yeah, this is actually kind of. I'm on board with this? Did you know what it reminds me of? Like Okami and those kind of games, or um, Never Alone, or like there have been a lot of really good just 2D scrolling platformers lately. Oh, Splint? Oh, shit, am I getting chased by- Oh, God! Avalanche! I don't know what caused it. Was it those comets? I think it was I those comets, yeah. Oh! Don't say comets, missiles at him. Something went down. Are you just automatically jumping, or...? No, I'm doing all the controls. Which means that this is an auto runner. I'm actually sprinting, I'm going to the button to sprint. <laughs> This is an impressive angle, and it's just not giving up. Yeah, hey, well, it's chasing me all the way down the hill. See, we're on the flatland now, it's all safe and sound. Nope, still wasn't. No, still wasn't. <laughs> I do like the design. Like, it makes me think more of a griffin than a dragon, even, by the way it looks. Well, whatever he was, he's dead. He ain't dead, he's fine. He'll be alright. You don't, you don't kill the cute animal at the very beginning of a game. See? He's fine. Nope, he's not fine. There's another creature here. That's not who we were. That's something else. Oh, wait, are what? Taking, are you taking over him now, or is he transformed or something, or what's going on? I don't right? know. Unless there's actually two of them just? And you're inside what I can only assume is a man-made building of some sort? I don't I can imagine a griffin or a dragon building this thing. Possibly. Oh, you got your embers already. That so you use R2 and use R to move your embers. Oh. Okay, so let's actually make it through walls and stuff. Oh, so it's actually for getting over uh, walls that you can't get over normally. Go up. Aha! <laughs> so it's the defying gravity of Miram. See? Like that. Oh, sorry, I used my embers to open that. Okay, 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 I got this. So I jump and I use my embers, and the embers only go so far each time, so I have to be able to reach and hit all the targets in one go. So we have puzzle solving platform, do you think? Oh, or? shit. Well, I have to go this way. Ah, that's how I get through it. Okay. So essentially it's going to be a puzzle platformer in some way, shape, or form. What the fuck? Uh, you got oh, I have to hit all four, four of these? Uh, all at the same time. Ah, uh, that keeps your embers alive whenever you're going through this kind of grid. See? There you go. So those, uh, that essentially has like ember energy going through it, I imagine, and that's what's keeping it from going. So same way with this, you have to go jump, hit, go through it, come around the other side, 
and you can drop through. Thinking you haven't hasn't really been too challenging for you to. Well, certainly yet, I guess. This is a demo. It's going to just show you tutorials of the method of the so more than anything else. Because oh! I'm wondering what the general story arc is exactly. So this is going to be one of those games that actually is not going to tell you anything about the story until you're actually like playing the full game. So this is just like a tech demo, I suppose, more than anything else. But I'm, like, I'm actually liking it as a platformer already. Basic enough, not too complex controls. He's just pick up and play. Here's this guy. I thought I was wondering what happened then. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming when the two of these meet, they're going to have like two different sets of powers. It's going to then be like uh, what do you call it? Twitch, you know, like the Gianna sisters, where there's actually like each one of them can do a different thing. See. He's got his embers now. So M, like, there's light embers on L, and then the other embers on R. See? They both do the same thing, though. No, they don't. Well, I assume... I, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm on the bet they won't. They do exactly the same thing. <laughs> Just to define gravity, really, is all I'm attributing them to. Yeah, that's what it's all being used for. Ow. Smash my face into that wall. Are you doing the exact same puzzle? Oh! Yeah, I, I, you can only turn into an ember once. First death. So you can't turn out, turn into an ember, turn out of an ember, and then turn back into an ember again. So you have to actually get it in the first try. Yeah, so this is can essentially the same puzzle. Can you just stationary using your ember? Like just... Sort of? Maybe? Don't know. Or does it automatically just make you float up? You can stay stationary, but then you can only stay stationary inside this grid, because if you stay stationary outside, your ember runs out. It's only last for a few seconds whenever you're not inside the weak grid. Say hello to your little friend! I'm wondering where this is all going to lead to, because you can imagine if you built this empire or whatever, and thinking... Oh, uh, your head's sore. Is that going to open the door for me? Oh, no, you put the panel up there. Oh, God. Oh, for fuck's sake, I've been drinking too much. I saw go get one of the dragons. The Crystal Empire of the Dragon. If one of them has Goliath's voice, I'm going to be surprised. Oh, well, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think there's going to be much talking in this game. Nah. I don't think they actually have mouths, do they? No, but I, there's going to be a stare off here now. Like two cats brawling around. Like that, literally, it is. It's just two cats. Cat, it's like somebody's actually cosplayed a couple of cats. I don't trust you. I don't trust you either. Do we have battle for the ultimate ember? We'll both turn into embers. Ah. I don't like your ember. Well, I don't like your ember. <laughs> we are yin and yang. Our battle together makes us balanced. We are one. We shall be one forever. Boom. Yep, we are one. <laughs> Literally turned them into one creature. Yep, see the way they're actually two different colors mixed in now? So I'm assuming this is some form of alien tech. Alright, so boom, and you actually like turn into two separate embers, and that's what the puzzles are. You have to actually now direct two things with the L and R sticks. This is going to be a ball ache and a half. Not so good for people who can't quite multitask. Like me. People who can't use both sticks at the same time. <laughs> Boom. But we're still making progress. Oh. And they can't be too far apart from each other, I imagine, either. What happens if you try and... You what? What happens if you try and pull them apart? Oh, the controller starts to rumble. You can see the line that it shows between the two of them. Like this. That's as far as they can be apart. I'm winning! Oh, I'm winning! And the tower of the beacons of Gondor have been lit. That's actually how the beacons were lit in the actual movie. You know, that's like... The, it was a much more elaborate method than people just recorded them. The fire. You gotta get a couple of dragons, and the split, fly up and down to the top of the mountain. Yeah, I can't really follow all that. I don't even know if there's a word for it. I wanna say Nerd lore? <laughs> I, I wanna say fantasy, I don't know if that's the word. But anything where there's a character called Isliathan, the third son of Mount Obvious, son to the king of Erlum, uh, characters who basically just aren't called Beef. 
Yep, yeah, you know, you, you're a big fan of like uh, hacker games where like a, his name is Hacks or Boost or Slam. Yeah, yeah something I can remember. I, I, I get you, I get you. This is actually a pretty good um, de like demo wise. This is actually not extensive, but it's actually just kind of let me play through a fair bit of content before it says, "Nope, you have to pay for this." So we're li uh, are you just going back to the start now, or what's happening? Well, I'm back into the wilderness. Oh, oh god, now, this is where it gets weird. So I have to do that, that, and go that way. Boom, there we go. And these grids all are out in the wild as well, that's handy. <sighs> Very convenient. Can I just do that? Oh, it won't let you. You can't move with like one ember anymore, you always have to split. That's a ball ache and a half. Can you just let go whenever you're in the grid? Yep, you just hold still. Because like I said, the grids always keep you alive, keep you as of amber. <sighs> gilfs. Everybody's into hot gilfs. They get all of them? That's not like a MILF, no. No, no, they, you're, it's a G-MILF grandmother that I'd love to fuck. Ooh, made it. <laughs> I was worried that I wasn't going to glide that. Armor orbs. Hey. So what do I need armor from? Yeah, I'm assuming you're going to find out. Oh, I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> I'm going to keep picking up the armor orbs. I don't want to fucking touch anything. Oh. Yeah, we used to remember in... Sonic the Hedgehog, when you used to get the wee heel thing to protect you from bumps, yep. I used to call it the womp because of the noise the it made. The womp. <laughs> Whenever you clacked it, oh. Are you gonna encounter any enemies or anything? I don't think there's any enemies in this. It's kind of like it's more the environment is your enemy. Damn the environment. Boom. Hup, hey. Ah. These two creatures are the only living thing on this planet. Oh, whoa, whoa. Holy Delio. Oh, uh, what? Good old maze. Oh, are you fucking serious? Alright, hang on. Alright, up. And around. Uh, yep. That'll come down here. I feel like that could have been the game. Just a whole series of maze. And I think that's exactly what it is. Oh, shit. Uh, up. And around and down. There we go. Aha! Didn't even have time to read that, whatever it said. I already knew what it was. It's press down and uh, down and square where they're airborne. So you actually can't attack things, so that's how you attack. Yes. What? Why can't. You, you gotta take him all the way over to the edge and then let him do his thing. <sighs> yeah. I think I figured it out. It's like that, and then it's like that. Like that. Just... What's this? Barely. No, nope. uh, no, nope. I thought I was actually gonna... I thought I would actually pull them close enough. So, what do I do here? So they're gonna meet in the red dot? Yeah. They meet on the red dot, so I need to actually get it as far uh, across as I can. Not really, if you can just... Get halfway across, then let go, join, and then split again, and go back into the bridge. No, can't. Can't re-split. Right. That's a problem. Oh, wait, hang on. Are we close enough to be able to get to the... We <sighs> need to be from here. Well, there our, we go. First, our first proper challenging puzzle. Yep. And I think it's just a matter of actually getting as far as I can from here, then... Letting go of that. And then gliding the rest of the way to get onto a platform. I think that's all it is. Isn't it? I mean, you think of another way to beat this? Well, that's what I was... I thought you could go into the... Because once you come out of the grid, you can't split right away again, can you? No. That's because that's my thought would be, come out of it, join up, then go back into it, whilst he's like staying mid-air like that. No. Sadly. Yeah, it doesn't let you regret it doesn't let, until you touch the ground, it doesn't let you re-ember. Then I'm fresh out of ideas. Yeah. 
This may be where we actually stop the demo if we can't solve this bit. Unless we have to go back and find another way, maybe? I think it has something to do with doing that and then gliding across. But no. Unless maybe you could have went a different direction and the base it would take him somewhere. I yeah, that's, probably, that's what I'm thinking it might actually have been. Unless it's actually give you a power up to make you have a longer distance apart. So you can't even go back up anyway, can you? No, you can't. Nope. I wouldn't let you get the... Uh... <laughs> Alright, we've had this happen before. <laughs> the you know, PlayStation 3 turns itself on at certain times of the night. That was just the PlayStation's way of telling you, like, you're not solving you're, this. You stuff. haven't solved this. You're not going to solve this problem, so you might as well give up on it. So that's what we're going to do. The PS3 turned itself on to actually do itself a test. So we need to actually hit the reset button here to actually change the channels back. Um, there we go. <laughs> problem solved. So, yeah, um, I'm going to give up on this demo now. But um, this has actually been kind of fun to actually play. I, I, I have not disliked Ember of um, Embers of Mirum at all. That's actually been kind of fun. And look, it is. Its background just happens to match the background that I had. It goes up to a skyline and then I actually have stars as my background. This is by grand coincidence. I like that. That's a nice touch. Um, so yeah, Embers of Mirum. Fun, interesting, simple uh, program, uh, puzzling platformer. Uh, we got trumped by the first puzzle in, a, in the time that we had to actually do a video here on the channel. But um, yeah, I recommend giving it a try. You've only got to see the basic uh, methods of gameplay and you'll hammer through that first, but the same as we did in the first few minutes and then probably get stuck at that one bit. If you have the solution for that puzzle, make sure to say it in the comments underneath and tell us how stupid we are for not actually being able to get it immediately because for some reason like, it didn't seem to actually come to me whenever we were playing it. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed what you've been watching, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It'll be popping up here. And if not, if you're not a subscriber kind of person, I can completely understand that. Make sure to memorize the name, pastiche of skin. All you have to do is search for it. I'm not trying to hide. It's easy to find me. Just remember the name, pastiche of skin. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, There'll be a button up there, and above me, there'll actually be a little box saying uh, recent playlist or a playlist recommended for you. Up in the far side over here, there'll be a most recent episode on the channel. And right here next to my head will be a video specifically designed for you, based on YouTube analytics and all the things that you watch on YouTube. It'll pick something out of my playlist, out of all the videos that I've made, that you'd probably enjoy most. So I recommend clicking on this video immediately, because you'll enjoy yourselves. Thank you very much for watching, and me and Ryan will see you all in the next video. Bye!